Hey busy bees, we are in the thick of winter and here in Northern California, it's been raining and freezing. So I thought we should make some colorful but warming and cheery winter soup to warm us up. I'm making my favorite, the roasted tomato basil soup. And then the second one, I'm doing a kale white bean potato soup that's hearty, meaty, so good. And for the meat lovers out there, I have a steak soup. This is like man food. I also added in veggies and pearled barley to keep it healthy too. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below for more colorful, real food recipe ideas. And we'll go ahead and get started with our first recipe, which is the roasted tomato basil soup. I'm starting off with about one and a half pounds of fresh tomatoes that I'm just going to quarter. Aren't these gorgeous? Done. I'll line my baking sheet with some parchment paper, add my tomatoes, drizzle it with some olive oil, some kosher salt to draw out the moisture, and a nice sprinkling of freshly cracked pepper. I'll mix it all around, and then put the skin side up. Then I'll roast them in the oven at 450 degrees for about 30 minutes. Roasting the tomatoes will give the tomatoes a great depth of flavor and it'll make our soup taste really good. While that's roasting, I'm going to start prepping my other ingredients. I have a medium onion that I'll just peel and dice. Chop, 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 set it aside. Then I have one large clove of garlic that I'll just peel and mince. One carrot that I'll also peel and chop. Adding a carrot to our soup is win-win. Not only does it add natural sweetness, but it also gives us extra nutrients. We'll set that aside and some fresh basil because it goes so well with a tomato soup. I'll just peel off the leaves, roll it up, and then give it a quick julienne. And then our tomatoes are ready. They have a nice char and they smell so good. And that's it. The rest of the magic happens in the pot. And I know you guys are gonna ask me about this, so this pink pot is by Le Creuset, and my husband actually got it for me for Christmas from William Sonoma. I'll link it below if you guys are interested. Okay, now in my pot, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil, toss in the diced onions, and let it cook for about two to three minutes until the onions are nice and translucent. Once the onions are done sauteing, I'll add in the carrot and the garlic. Give it a stir and let it cook for another two to three minutes so that the carrots can also cook down. Now I'll add in my roasted tomatoes and then a large can of San Marzano tomatoes. And since I'm using whole tomatoes, I'm just gonna crush them down with my potato masher. These San Marzano tomatoes from Italy are canned at their peak of ripeness, so they're gonna pack in so much flavor. This is also my favorite variety of tomato to use in this soup. Now I'll add in one and a half cups of vegetable broth, a quarter cup of my chopped basil, a bay leaf, a sprig of fresh oregano, and a sprig of thyme. We're gonna be taking those out later. I just wanna infuse their flavors. Now I'll give it a mix, mix, mix. Let it simmer on medium heat for about half an hour, and then I'll give it a stir to make sure nothing's burning at the bottom. I'll let it cook for another 15 minutes, and then I'll remove the bay leaf, the thyme, and I'll fish around for that oregano. Oh, there it is. The last step is to blend it all up. With my immersion blender, I'm just gonna pulverize the whole thing until it's nice and creamy. Perfect. Now quick taste test, and I'm just gonna add in one teaspoon of kosher salt. I like to add the salt at the end so we don't add too much during the cooking process. It's a lot harder to fix an oversalted soup. I'll give it a final stir to mix it all together, and then it's time to serve our zuppa. Mmm, creamy, delicious. Look at that beautiful, rich color. Oh, so good. Now I'm gonna dress it up with some grilled cheese croutons because they are delicious in the soup, and a basil garnish to add more color. Mmm, 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 the most comforting soup on a cold winter day. Oh. I cannot wait to dig in. Mm. Mm. This roasted tomato soup has so much flavor and it just brings me back to my childhood. I used to eat tomato soup, you know the ones out of the can, but 
This one is 10 times better and paired with grilled cheese, it's like the perfect meal. I love it. <laughs> now moving on to our second soup, it's a white bean kale and sausage soup. I kind of got the inspiration from Olive Garden, but this one's way better. So let's get started. I'm using half a bunch of dino kale that I'll just de-stem and give it a rough chop. Chop, chop, chop. Then I have a russet potato that I'll just peel, cut in half, and slice into about quarter inch pieces. Now I'll take half a yellow onion and I'll dice it up. And two cloves of garlic that I'll mince. Now in my heated pot, I'll add in one strip of bacon that I've already chopped and I'll let it cook for about a minute. Then I'll add in my diced onions, give it a stir. If I'm not getting enough fat from the bacon, I'll add in some olive oil, just to move things along. Okay, then I'll add the garlic, half a pound of spicy Italian sausage. I'll break it up into large chunks with my wooden spoon, cook it down for a little bit. Then I'll add my herbs. I have some rosemary straight from the stem, some thyme, some more thyme, <laughs> and just mix it around and let it cook. Mmm, it already smells so good. Once the meat juice starts to come out, I'm gonna add in my kale. I'll mix it around and let it cook down a little bit. See how far it goes down? Then I'll add my potatoes and a can of white beans. I'm using Great Northern beans here, but navy beans, cannellini, those work too. Now I'll pour in a quart of chicken broth, which is four cups. And to enrich the flavors, a Parmesan rind. You can get pieces of Parmesan rind at the cheese counter like this. Just go ahead and ask them and they'll cut some off for you. This little guy makes a huge difference in soups. I'll give it a good mix, cover it and let it cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'll remove the lid and take out my Parmesan rind. Now like last time, we'll add the salt at the end and some freshly cracked pepper. Mix it around. And then I'll just mash the beans and potatoes to give it a creamy texture. And then it's ready to serve. I'll ladle some out into my bowl. To garnish, I'll add some grated Parmesan cheese on top. And a yummy slice of crusty grilled bread. Oh, perfect. I'm going to get a little bit of everything. And I'm going in. Kale is super hearty and the soup is a little bit spicy from the sausage. I also love the texture of the beans and potatoes together too, especially when I mashed it. This is a great option for a one pot meal and personally I think it tastes better second and third day because the flavor becomes way more concentrated. Alright, now moving on to our last one, our manly meaty steak soup with pearled barley and veggies. Here I have half of a yellow onion that I'll just cut into large chunks. I'll set it aside, then I'll chop up half a red bell pepper, also into large chunks. I have one stalk of celery, chop chop chop, one carrot, same thing, and then about a cup of chopped mushrooms. And then for the meat I have one pound of boneless chuck that I'll just cut into about one inch pieces. This is the perfect size for stew. And then I'll just pat each piece of meat dry with a paper towel. I need to pat the meat dry because I'm gonna sear it next. Having moisture will cause the meat to steam instead of having a nice char. In a heavy bottom stock pot, I'm gonna add in some olive oil. I'll let the pot get really hot and then I'll add in a little meat at a time. I'm gonna make sure not to overcrowd the pot because it'll steam instead of sear the meat. Now I'll just add in a little bit of kosher salt, and once the meat has a nice sear, I'll just flip it over. I'll remove the seared meat, add a little bit of oil, and then we're gonna have another round. I'll just keep doing this until I'm done with the meat. Ooh, that top one looks beautiful. All right, once I'm done with the meat, I'll add in some more oil and throw in the onions. I'll cook it down for about two to three minutes. Then I'll throw in my mushrooms, cook them for a minute, add in some garlic, give it a stir, cook it down for about two minutes, then I'll add in my carrot, celery, bell pepper, 
and I'll give it a stir. I'll let it cook down for a few more minutes, and then I'll add in one cup of canned diced tomatoes, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of tomato paste, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, two teaspoons of chopped rosemary, a sprig of thyme, and then we'll add in our meat. I'll give it a stir, just to mix everything together, and then I'll pour in three cups of beef broth. And that's pretty much it. I'll just stir it, cover it, and let it cook for the next half hour. After 30 minutes have passed, I'll add in half a cup of pearled barley. We're adding in the pearled barley now because if we added it in earlier, it would have sucked in all the broth, leaving you with not very much soup. All right, we're gonna let the pearled barley cook for about 30 minutes until it's nice and toothy. This is also where I'm gonna add my salt and some freshly cracked pepper. I'll give it another stir and I'll cover it up for another half hour. All right, I think it's ready. I'll fish out the thyme stem and check on the barley. Yep, it looks perfect. Now it's time to serve. The inspiration for this soup actually came from when I worked in college at a steakhouse and every day they would make like fresh steak soup and they added in baby corn, which I love too, but you guys can totally add it or leave it out up to you. Scoop some in a bowl. Oh, it's piping hot. And then I'll just garnish it with some fresh green parsley. Let's get a little bit of everything in here. Oh, smells delicious. Let's give it a try. Mm. So good. The beef is perfectly tender and it just falls apart in your mouth. And then the secret weapon in this was actually the Worcestershire sauce. It adds a nice smokiness to the soup that's super savory and delicious. Which soup would you guys try first? And if you guys have a favorite winter soup, what is it? Comment below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode and bye.